Hey, what's going on? JD here, and I have a quick tutorial for you. We are going to show you how to create a glitch title for Final Cut Pro. We've shown you before how to do it utilizing all the assets that are inside Final Cut Pro and not use any external programs. This time we're going to show you how to do it so you can create the title easily over and over again. We're going to utilize Motion 5 for that, but don't worry if you don't have Motion 5. We are going to give you the files. The link will be down below, and when you sign up to get that, please make sure to subscribe to the mailing list. It will help you get future assets uh, as we release them. So let's just jump right into it. So we're going to start off by creating a new Final Cut title. So we're going to open that up. I'm just going to take the background as well as this type layer off. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new type layer and we're gonna do that one frame in. So we're going to add the word glitch because this is a glitch title. And we're just going to resize that as well, make it a little bit bigger, as well as center it on the screen. And of course, you can see the guides pop up for that. So that is where we want to start. And then we're going to move over here to the filters. And like the effect that we did in Final Cut Pro, we are going to utilize bad TV. So we're going to drop that in there. And now you can see that the glitch is rolling over. Uh, we're going to show you how to adjust some of those properties. And as you can probably anticipate, unlike our other glitch effect, uh, the roll wasn't just in that tiny little bind box. Uh, and that's not the effect we want. Oh, so we're going to go and show you how to change that now. So we're going to select the group. We're going to go to the group settings and we are going to select fixed resolution. So now it applies to the whole screen. So when we move the glitch down, it doesn't just rotate over in itself until it reaches the boundaries of the screen setting that you've set. And that's helpful for us. Again, we are just essentially duplicating what we did in the Final Cut Pro tutorial. So once we've got the desired waviness, we're going to move with color sync. We want a little bit of color out of line. So we're going to adjust that till it looks the way we want it. Then we're going to adjust the scan lines, whether we want them more prominent or not. And as well, we're going to, you know, adjust how many scan lines there are. So you can just adjust these sliders to get the visual look that you want. And I'm quite happy with that. So we're not going to want this to go all the way through this title. So we're going to shorten that using O for out. I want it just to be the one frame like I did with Final Cut Pro. So we're just going to move that and adjust it. So it is just the one frame before it clicks off. So we're going to move a frame ahead and we are going to do the same thing over and over again. Uh, you can either accomplish that by adding bad TV and again through the library, which we will do here, or you can duplicate layers if it is a repeated effect that you want to happen. So again, we're just going to reduce it down to one frame and do this several times until we get the glitch desired effect. I believe when we did it with a Final Cut Pro thing, we did it for a total of six frames. Now for the last glitch portion, we're going to utilize a glass block. We want it to sort of jump out towards the viewer. So we're going to put that above our last frame to get that uh, glitch look. And if we scrub this back, you can see it's got kind of that cool glitchy glass look. We're going to increase the size here. So we're going to adjust the scale so it fills the window just for that second. I like how this effect looks. I liked it in the first one. And if we scrub through, you can see how it glitches. Now what we're going to do is we are going to jump over to the other end and of course duplicate all the six frames at the end for the out for focus. We are just going to do them in reversed order. So we're just going to duplicate the layers and move them to the other end. 
So once we've got all our desired glitch effects in our timeline, what we're going to do now is we're going to create some gaps where the text isn't seen. And we're going to do that by adding keyframes. We're going to go to the beginning of the first glitch effect and add a 100% opacity keyframe. And then at the end, we're going to add another keyframe uh, and we're going to make that zero. Then we're going to, of course, move to the next one and repeat the process. And what this will accomplish is when it plays through, the glitch will show the glitch text. And then, of course, it will show nothing going to the next glitch text to get that kind of rapid flash movement. And, of course, we're going to do this all the way through the timeline. So once we've completed that, we are going to want to go through, check and make sure that it looks exactly how we want to do it. And as you can see here, it starts fading off before it goes. And that's not what I want. I want a more abrupt change. So we're going to open up the keyframe editor here and we're just going to add one more keyframe. And that is going to give us our desired look. So there you have it. That's how you create the glitch title in Motion 5. The beauty of it now is that you just have to drag and drop that title in and it is ready to go. So hopefully you enjoy this. If you found the files useful, if you found this video useful, please do like and leave a comment down below. If there's any tutorials that you would like to see in the future, please do let me know as well. And remember to smash that subscribe button. And until next time, see ya.